Hello and welcome to my Miss Mushroom YouTube channel. It's a beautiful September day and September is always the finest month for mushrooming. So I hope that we can kick things off in style today and that this month will be a good one here in the Bohemian Forest. And since I'm so excited about the mushrooms, let's not drag it out and just get on with it. Wow, I have my first mushroom. This sap is not completely flawless, but it doesn't matter. It's an edible mushroom and that's always the greatest mushroom picking pleasure. I can see that the stem was bitten by slugs, but that's okay. It's trimmed. I'll get my knife and see if the mushroom is healthy. Yes, it's great. The mushroom is worm free, beautifully healthy. Yes. Now, next door, there's another mushroom-shaped item. This one's younger, prettier, great! Looks like I'm in the right place. The next one is a little smaller, but the joy is still immense. I'm so excited. The mushrooms are really thriving. Hopefully there will be enough to fill a whole basket. Summer has been really poor for mushrooms. And it looks as if autumn will save it all. And I'll enjoy some fine mushrooms too. This other Boletus edulis spruce mushroom is really small, but I pickled these little mushrooms. They makes a cute little jar of amazing porcini mushrooms that I am able to eat in a sitting. <laughs> my perfect pair of moss mushrooms. Couldn't have picked a better spot. Very nice find. Now I found a place where Suelus luteus, uh, Noah's slippery chicks, grow in abundance. Suelus are slimy mushrooms that taste great in soups and sauces. Both mushrooms should be peeled to get rid of the slimy surface of the cap. You can always tell a slimy mushroom by the yellow end of the stem. Okay, back to the porcini. He's my most beautiful sap so far today. Boletus edulis. It doesn't have a single blemish and the heart to the touch stem means that this mushroom will be healthy and warm free too. My god, yes, it's really beautiful. King of the mushrooms so far. So, I've got one young bird bullet here, but the main things I wanted to show you is this family of orange bird bullets. A divine group of five ginger items. This mushroom grows near birch trees, uh, has a mustard yellow cap. The stem of the mushroom is similar to the bark of a birch tree. It is a harder mushroom that lends itself to mushroom mixes, uh, sauces and soups. It can also be dried or frozen. Uh, 
I have a good news. It seems that there is a second wave of oak mushrooms this year. Which is great uh, since I didn't enjoy this first wave of these mushrooms very much. I'll make up for it today. This is a Georgia's specimen and she's not alone. Here are some more summer saps. You can find this fungus in the fallen leaves of beech and oak trees. This species of mushroom is also known as the white mushroom and with the sap it is one of the most sought after mushrooms. Quite often these mushrooms are warm, but today is different, 100% healthy mushrooms. I having a mild mushroom heart attack. It's at the point where it's well it caught me in. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. And there is a tent mushroom specimen hiding here. Wow! This is not searching anymore. It's just picking mushrooms. Unbelievable. So I'm going to take them out. Here it's uh, in all its glory, the treasure that's been waiting for me. I haven't done this in a long time. I've got a new mushroom king for today. The stem is like half a loaf of bread. Incredible! It's in the company of an Amanita citrina, which is mildly poisonous. Causes stomach upset and diarrhea. And this really... This really is a giant mushroom. It makes me feel a bit like I'm in Russia. I'm so happy that such giant mushrooms grow here in Bohemia, in the Bohemian forest. So, finally one more thing, luxurious giant mushrooms, two of the biggest specimens. That's a really nice find to end today's mushrooming. I can't even get them out. You understand the size? Unbelievable! Oh my god!
So, I'm just finishing up for the day and as you can see, I have a basket full of mushrooms. Until today, I haven't been able to do that this year, so I'm very happy. I'm holding on the most beautiful mushroom treasure and my wish for you is that you also have a such amazing find. Today was a lot of mushroom euphoria and it will take me a long time to absorb the happiness. If you enjoyed mushrooming with me, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'm looking forward to lots more mushrooming. Have a great time picking mushrooms and see you back in the woods again soon. Bye!